Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafting on a Budget. This is another paper line that I would like to show you from craftingonabudgetstore.com. This is a special limited edition paper. It is called The Sound of Winter. It is by Ciabella. And for those of you who are not Italian, Ciabella means hello beautiful or goodbye beautiful. Um, we use ciao to say hello and ciao to say goodbye so um just in case you wanted to know what that meant and this paper is definitely beautiful it is a special limited edition so what i will tell you about ciao bella is that when they run a special limited edition they only do one run of the paper and it never comes back um so if you are looking at it and you are saying wow i would really like that paper then please get it because you're going to be sad when it gets sold out um, and you're looking for it. I also wanted to just interject that I think that this paper collection could be used for a manly type of an album um, because of the wildlife, because of the colors. I think it can go either way. It's definitely not Christmassy. Um, it's definitely more nature in winter and I absolutely love it. And you'll see as I go through the pages, um, what I'm talking about. Again, if you did not watch the first child Bella video that I did, which was, uh, what's the name of this one? Time for home. You didn't hear me explain how they do their cover page. And they do their cover page very uniquely. Um, there's a little line of demarcation here, a white line. And if you flip it, that same line is on this side. And what that allows you to do is to utilize all of these images on the front. And they will have this beautiful tree background already printed on them. And it will allow you to use these little images on the bottom here and these are great for tags for envelopes for tuck spots in between in, into your belly bands that you put into your albums they're into your loaded envelope if you do a loaded envelope they're just really really pretty the colors are really really rich and you'll see what i mean it's definitely different than the blue line that we looked at this is um the colors the backgrounds are again muted like we saw before but the actual elements that really pop off the page are very saturated with color and they are absolutely beautiful so let's move on i was having some camera trouble earlier today so let's hope i don't have that again um i think it doesn't like movement too much because it looks like it's always trying to focus and I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but I will zoom in a little bit and make it easier for you guys to see. Oh, that made it worse. Let me zoom out. See what I mean? It almost looks like it's doing like a heartbeat or something. It's really strange. And I don't know why. All right, behave. No. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if I'm going to get this video done. This is just driving me crazy. All right. It's good. Stable for now. So I I don't know why. I don't have any setting on here. Um, with the autofocus, I'm wondering if that's that could be the problem. Nope. But let me see. If I take that off, maybe that will help. I hope so, because it's really driving me crazy. And I'm so sorry. I apologize for that. I, I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so let's get back to the beautiful paper. This paper has little sayings on it and they say when snow falls nature listens which I absolutely love 
no winter lasts forever winter is the time for home the color of winter is our imagination and then there is a little saying here in italian which i do not know what it says so and i'm not going to botch it <laughs> by even trying to say it um this paper has amazing amazing stenciling it's got these circles these like water drops it has script writing it's got um some almost looks like stamping down here and do we have music notes on this page yes we have music notes in the corner here it's absolutely gorgeous and the color saturation of these pieces really pop out they're so beautiful this fox is just adorable i mean he's just so stinking cute but oh and here's more music notes here so you see how it's just kind of muted but it's there and i love that about this paper it's just beautiful the reverse side of this is all music notes and it is so beautiful and if i hold it away you're going to see like a darker color kind of around here that color is actually like a diluted very diluted teal color and it blends so nicely with the browns and the creams and the white and the beige and the taupe you, you know you have a whole bunch of different um kinds of browns from one spec from the darkest spectrum to the lightest spectrum which i love it's beautiful you will love this collection but this is what i'm talking about for a man look at this first of all this reminds me of one of those bob ross paintings with his klondike brown i just love it we have the mountains, we have the trees, we have the beautiful deer, we have the little water here that hasn't iced over yet for them to drink from. We have this, like, I call it crackling, but it looks more like brickwork to me, so it's probably like a stenciling of brickwork. But then you have this pop of a, of a snowflake, which is different than the last collection. The last collection had a very muted kind of snowflakes and now we have a you know a definitely um different look and this collection has introduced book pages which i love and so we have book pages throughout this and this paper almost looks like it was done on uh burlap it's really cool the other side i am wild about it's all these snowflakes with all these muted colors we have all those browns we have the the um book pages as you can see we have just some really really beautiful elements here this looks like water was splashed and just blotted it, it just it's incredible it's really really beautiful now this page I thought was very interesting. It it's it's so cool. I'm going to bring it up so you could see it. It's just this whole design. It's like a, you know, a whole design. It looks like it has some wood maybe behind it, but it's really really pretty. And the flip side of this is the frame page. And the frame page is gorgeous and if you do 12 by 12 scrapbooking and you put pictures in you are going to go wild for this frame i don't do 12 by 12 pictures as you know um, i don't do that kind of a book but what i will say is if you don't do that kind of a book and you don't want to cut this up i'm probably going to cut this up to make it work for me but if you don't want to cut this up what you can do is put your picture in the middle here. Now, if the picture was big enough, I would say fussy cut all this stuff out so that the berries are actually on the picture. But if your picture is smaller, I would put it in the center. And then I would glue this whole piece to chipboard to make it sturdy. And then I would probably put some gimp all the way around it. And then a 
big seam binding bow at the top with the ribbons coming down and I would glue them specifically so it looked like loops and, and things coming down. So that's what I would do with this page, me personally. So that's just an idea for you. Here we have another gorgeous page. This looks like it was run on linen, to be perfectly honest. We have this lantern, this beautiful bird. We have this garland up here with the evergreen and the pine cones. We have music notes going on. We have that brick layering. But the background itself, to me, looks like linen. It's really pretty. And I'll just hold it up so that you can see what I'm talking about. It's absolutely gorgeous, super gorgeous. And then the back, I love, it is like a sweater or a crochet um, chain. It looks so cool. And again, it's done in these browns and these taupes, beiges, some white, a little bit of ivory. Um, but the colors just really blend together so beautifully. You are going to love this. It's just, it's such a cozy kind of winter outdoorsy type of paper. I don't even know how, I don't know if I'm explaining it the best way, but that's what I, I get cozy when I look at this paper. Again, on this page, we have the stenciling, we have the script writing, we have the bricks, we have this, the, you know, just like, looks like slapped on paint. Um, we have the pops of color. But look at this little guy. Look at this little critter. He's so cute. And there he is with those little prickly things. And I don't know what those little prickly balls are called, but I remember being little and being in the woods and they would stick to the shoelaces, your shoelaces. Um, and then you'd have to pull them all off and they were really pointy and they were like little burrs of something. I don't know. But, and then you see there the script writing. It's absolutely gorgeous. The reverse side is amazing. We have all of those elements again, um, but we have that teal, that, that, that really watered down teal, which I told you about before. And we have this beautiful um, selection of evergreen and pine trees uh, that are overlooking the lake. It's so gorgeous. And as you can see, this could be a very manly type of paper. This one is a really saturated piece. As you can see, the color really pops. This is not a teal green that's going on through here. This is more of like a moss green that's been watered down. And I know it's hard, it's hard to even see it in, and I'm in the lightest room, but when you see it in person, you'll, you'll know exactly what I mean. This has uh, book pages throughout, polka dots throughout. It looks like it's got wood grain lines going down. And then you have this bottom here, which is really beautiful with the really saturated colors. I love that. And the reverse side is just to die for. The reverse side has your mountain and your snow topped trees and your birds and your branches and you have script writing and book pages and polka dots, which I love. And you have the mountain and then you have this fence here. It is so beautiful. It's going to be so hard to cut this up. I'm going to cut it up, but it's going to be really hard to do. Just letting you know. <laughs> Next, we have this plaid, which is was surprising, which again, I, I think of like a manly kind of a project when I think of this kind of a plaid. I love it. It's beautiful. And the edges have a little bit of more of that um, brick look to it. There is some book pages, but they're really hard to see unless you're up close. Um really beautiful and the reverse side is just this like I would just put in a frame I just for some reason I just this page just got to me and uh, I, I'm already thinking like how am I going to cut this 
so that I get the most out of it for whatever we're going to do. Um, I love this. I could see just driving up to this house past this chicken wire fence that's been pushed down by the snow. There's snow everywhere. There's the house and the barn and the silo and the trees and then, of course, the wishing well. And the script writing, I believe I said already, you have wood grain going both ways on this page. It's just beautiful. It really makes you want to just jump into that scene and be a part of it. And I love when paper does that. I love, I love when you look at a piece of paper and you could put yourself into it. You know what I mean? And I know that sounds weird, but you, I know you guys know what I mean. This is another plaid, but this one is way muted compared to the other one. Let me see if I can get, grab the other one. See the difference? This one is way muted. It's beautiful. It's got those water drops or circles. It's got the brick. It's got script writing. But the plaid itself is just a combination of the browns, but really, really toned down. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And on the reverse side, it's like a collage. We have like water drops. We have the stenciling. We have music notes. We have uh, ribbed book paper. Looks like some stamping that's been done. Just really, really muted. Very pretty would be perfect in the background. This would be a great layering piece or an awesome piece on its own. And it's so funny because I try to, uh, as I'm looking at this with you, I'm trying to think of like, okay, what am I going to do with this? Where are we going to put this? You know, my mind is racing as I'm trying to explain the paper. So I apologize if I don't sound, you know, if I'm rambling, but it's just, you know, when you're a designer and you're looking at what you're given to design with, you know, that you're just thinking of that all the time. <laughs> um, this is another muted piece of paper. It reminds me of something that was done on a canvas and run through a printer to print it. You have those bricks, the brickwork again, you have music notes, you have like canvas looking sections here and then we have this tree with the circle on the tree and forgive me but I do not know what that is called I grew up being told that that was the um, tree's fingerprint that's what my grandfather would always say when I would see like that kind of a hole that wasn't open in the tree but there was that circle there and he would say that was the tree's fingerprint so I don't know I don't think that was the technical term for it, but I love that. And so I thought I would share that with you. This does have the script writing as well as the music notes. The reverse side is more vibrant. Love it. I think now you could really get a good look at that white, that green, that teal that's been really watered down. It's gorgeous. And we have the two corners of this um, looks like a garland or you know something that we put up and you have evergreens and pine cones you have some burlap you have some wood you have some flowers it's just really really pretty I love it I just love it it's gorgeous and again the stenciling you have the script writing there is no music notes on this one just so that you know this one is a great background page. It's got the deeper colors on the sides. You have like a, a rust and a goldenrod kind of a color. And then you have all the different colors of brown. And then you have that brickwork, which is amazing. And it just, it does look like someone watercolored and then blotted. And that's how it came out. It's just so beautiful. There is no... Um, script on this one there is no music notes on this one there is no stamping on this one just so that you know but on the reverse side look at the elements oh my goodness these elements are precious we have our fox the lantern we have sweet winter here with our little tiny 
furry squirrel. We have this beautiful bird. We have the deer. We have the um, trees. I almost forgot what they were called. This could be a bookmark or it could be a belly band depending on how big you're doing your book. We have words that say the color of winter is in our imagination, walking in the winter wonderland. And of course, this says sweet winter. We have some extra tags and pieces. So really, really sweet, really, really sweet page. And then this is the final page. The final page I love. It's a window and I love when looking out windows i love windows i love that this has nine panes to it i love what you're looking out to the beautiful trees that have snow hanging off of them and then you have your little apples here and uh, some books and some vintage glass you know uh glassware it's gorgeous um Again, it's 12 by 12, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this piece exactly, but I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. We'll cut it up somehow. Now, the back of this one probably has the most color, and it is woodwork, and it's got lots of greens, which you can't see, and more of that goldenrod that's been pulled in. Really, really pretty, and a lot of that brick work that's stenciling that has been done on the panels of the wood really really pretty it's a very cohesive collection as you have seen it's gorgeous i personally love it and it's not a color that i would normally work with um, but again this is a special limited edition called the sound of winter and like i said when they do the run of the special edition limited edition paper they do not run it more than once so that's what makes it so special and limited and i would have one suggestion for you because i did get these flowers because these flowers the green matches this very nicely it also matches um another collection i'm going to show you um but these flowers are by prima and they're called my sweet and it's item number 652913. So you might want to consider getting those flowers as well. You can get all of this at craftingonabudgetstore.com. I hope that you will. And until the next time, you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. And bye for now.